Whoa! I like the way that guy popped. That was nice. That was very satisfying pop. With me here. Shields up, Ironbreakers. Uh, we're checking out Farpoint for the PlayStation 4, with, which is a PSVR exclusive. That was sent to me by PlayStation Portugal so that I could check it out. Show you guys my opinions on it. Uh, this game does have a cooperative mode, although obviously I don't, I don't think I know a single other person that owns PlayStation VR right now. There's not a lot of people that have unfortunately purchased PlayStation VR, but I'm very curious about this title, so I think we'll go straight into story and see what it's all about. Why is there a back button as it's loading? What is going to happen? Project Mereos, connecting to live stream. <laughs> it's a live stream within a live stream. Live stream section. Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit. And that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> Uh, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy. Forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer. Named after the poem. The Wanderer Returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. Oh. My, my, look at our spaceship. Wanderer, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto docking sequence. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're gonna need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. I think it's still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. Still nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is Command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. We need an engineer to go out and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is 
by the book. Look, we tether to the pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? That is not a useful question here. <laughs> well, there are people I want to get home to. So, please. <sighs> Command, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Roger, holding position. Is our voice really loud or is that just me? Okay. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. Looking good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? <laughs> yeah. But for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Oh, I got some bad news, guys. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? Pilgrim, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Look, but it's not. Guys, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Pilgrim, do you copy? Do you see this? We gotta move. What is it doing? We gotta move now. You guys better hurry the fuck up. So I guess we ejected. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. But I'm scared of heights. Cass, location report now. Location unknown. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen. 2% oxygen. 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. Move forward. Oh god, even strafing kind of gives me a little woozy. So I'm going to have to hold my controller like this the whole time. I'm going to go gangster style with it. Like, brah, 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 brah. <laughs> going to be awkward to do aim down sights with a controller, but... Pilgrim, this is Wander. Come back. I say again, this is Wanderer Actual. Pilgrim, do you copy?
Okay, so what do we got here? Indeed. I do kind of feel, I kind of feel like after playing Resident Evil 7, not having the option to at least turn slightly is a bit of a pain in the ass. Let me try and turn that on. Uh, oh, you gotta actually shoot it. Small step, big step, quick, smooth. Small step? It's that. Let's find out. Oh, okay, this works kind of like, um, uh, this works kind of like Resident Evil, so that's, that's good. That's exactly the way that they have to do, uh, VR stuff as far as I'm concerned. And the gun is just so big, I don't know how to hold it properly. Assault, Assault rifle. rifle. <laughs> oh, so this is pretty OP. I still like the gangster style, like blah 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 blah. <laughs> well, I'll probably want to use the lens as much as I can. Although I gotta say, without that aiming thing, it feels kind of awkward. But okay. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, this is Wanderer. Do you copy? What the hell's this? Ah! Nasty eggs. Or maybe fungi of some kind. Then again, we're probably using a suit, I would imagine, because the atmosphere did not seem breedable. I know that this is not the best viewer experience, like this tapping in the camera just like zaps, but trust me, to explore in VR, if you're someone who gets sick with VR stuff, this is the best. Oh, can I go up there? Doesn't seem like I can jump. The geometry of the planet feels pretty simple, but the detail on the gun and the suit itself is very very good so i'm curious to see what the actual enemies look like again i just think it's very awkward to aim without that um that attachment that they have feels extremely awkward i do have a move controller i wonder if that would be better but then i'd have to like hold this then maybe the move controller on the other hand i don't know i don't know how that would work well 
Let's see if we can find something that we can actually shoot to get a feel for the gunplay. See how good it feels. Oh, look at the moons over there that we got. Well, is that a sun? Does that mean we're in the Milky Way? I don't know what planet we're on. There's also a big-ass volcano up in the distance. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you. Let's go find them then. Looks like we can get some kind of a running thing going. Doesn't seem like we have limited stamina or anything. Oh, well, this looks pretty suspicious. Hello? There's someone there? Holding the gun is very awkward. <laughs> Don't even try me, son. Nice try, spiders. I ain't scared of you. More of them. I might as well guide myself through the tracers. Seems to be somewhat easier. And aiming down sights, it's not very practical with a controller. Damn, that thing looks like a face crawler. Cass, log this. Locate and scan all fragments.
The G is not a constant on this planet? How the fuck do you get that? Didn't I just tell you two to stay put? Why can't people ever listen? I friggin' told them to stay put. Why Why can't they just listen to me? Why do they have to go off and explore on their own? What do you think is gonna happen? Not good things. Now, I'm wondering, can I fall down to my death? Is that a thing? Looks like you can. Whoosh! Well, I guess I'm gonna find out now. I ain't got no choice. And now it's like, restart the level from scratch. No. Okay. God damn it. Face crawling little trick. So what's this? Regenerating health? Kind of feel like that's going to be the case. Gonna have to use the aim down sights whether I like it or not. I'm actually closing one of my eyes in VR so that I can aim better using aim down sights. Which is, in a way, it's really good. Like, it's very immersive that you can just pick up a gun like this and be like, I'm gonna aim this perfectly. But the problem is without that, att that fancy attachment they have, doing it with a controller is not the best experience. A shotgun instead? I like shotguns. I mean, I also like assault rifles, but for these things, the shotgun. He burrowed. Oh, you bastard. You zergling little bastard. How dare you? Yeah, it looks like your health auto regens. I'm just guiding myself through the tracers right now. I told you not to do that, though. Why can't you people listen? You, the two of you are dead already. You're gonna die. I can already tell. I've seen plenty of video games. I know where this is going. Pretty, the bioluminescence. That is some pretty bioluminescence. Can I shoot it? Cass, what the hell? Make sure you log all this.
How can the default option be no turn? I have no idea how I would navigate this without turn. Oh, you would have to turn your entire body. Okay, but that would also mean playing while standing up, which I'm okay. It's just my setup does not really favor that. I have to like readjust my entire setup to do that. Ooh, we got a fat one. Whoa, dude. Whoa, I like the way that guy popped. That was nice. It was very satisfying pop. What do we got there? Hello? Yeah, you're gonna pop real good too. Wee! Look at the little bits, the little chunks, the little gory chunks. Gotcha. I feel like I'm in Starship Troopers right now, which is a good thing, a very good thing. Oh, we can pop their ammo too, that's cool. We're gonna pop, splat. Very satisfying splat when they pop. I like that, I like the animations on there. The animations are looking pretty good. What's this? My, my, guided rockets. Guided rocket. The UEP assault rifle has an integrated guided rocket launcher. Use the targeting laser to guide the rockets to the designated target. The UEP assault rifle can hold a total of five guided rockets. Press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. So... Press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. This thing actually has quite a bit of distortion to it. Nice. I like the little scenarios they're building where you have to aim up, aim down. It's very immersive. Oh, I can't go all the way up here? Fine. Be that way. Ouch. Oh, look at the, look at the thing coming out of the volcano, the, um, the smog. That's cool. <laughs> I love the little bits flying. <laughs> Physics are looking good too. leave after doing that what do you think this is a really cool thing about this is how it can in my opinion is how it can be played co-op I can see this being real fun if you have a friend and you're both just like co-oping through this I can see that being real awesome 
Actually, I think Hengist was considering getting this. That could be interesting, but I'm not sure if he's still interested in it or not. Partial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. All recovered files. Is it the Pilgrim? No. No, but it's a piece of it. Must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found our power source. Hello? Anyone inside? Come on. Pretty, but it's sheltered. Battery packs. We strip off the casings. We can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. All yours, Dr. Moon. Batteries, they're all at 1% power. That's funny. 1% is enough for six months. <laughs> yeah, but why are they all depleted? Hello? Sounds like an interference. You're right. Probably a shit ton of EMR out here. So how do we contact anyone? We keep trying. Survivors keep moving. Pilgrim. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. Are you? Please come back. Eva. You need to take a break. Been going for hours. Here. It's the last one for my suit. Some kind of strawberry goo. Good. Good job, bro. It's all right. No. That's it. What do you mean? When the Pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the Pilgrim crashed. Ever the optimist. You sure about this? Not very, but it's what we got. I'm gonna follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. Make sure you keep this door locked. Are we expecting company? Just do it, okay? So I guess we'll find the good doctor somewhere. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, Eva. I'm right behind you. Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, I'm following the trail of debris. I need 
one hand to shoot you down. I don't even know which trophies I'm getting because they're not popping up. Unlike these monsters which pop up all over the place. This definitely reminds me a lot of Starship Troopers. These Xeno life forms are pretty dangerous. We'll get them. Burrowing little bastard, you see him? <laughs> also, I would definitely advise you guys to play this game standing up. You'll have a much better experience. than when sitting down. Where are you? Cute little spider. <laughs> also, sorry about the banging noise that you're going to keep hearing of me banging against the microphone, but that is the nature if you want to have good quality audio. Like, I can, I actually have a microphone that I could use that's a lapel mic, but the audio would be garbage, so I don't like using it. Alert. Seismic activity detected. Yes. Suit status. Suit integrity is stable. I have to say, I'm surprised our character... Our character has a really good balance if he's able to fall down from that and not even, like... Not even, like, go to a knee or something, just, like, okay. straight up standing. holographic fire recovery, please locate and scan all fragments. That looks like a shotgun. Can I have it? Yes! Yes! Shotgun! I want that shotgun! And no excuses! Oh yeah! Shotgun. The UEP tactical shotgun provides maximum stopping power at close range. It features semi-automatic fire with a seven round capacity and an integrated grenade launcher. So this one does not have unlimited Press ammo. The highlighted button to switch weapons. Oh man, why can't you have the highlighted button. Oh, it does generate ammo. Nice! Bring it! How much bigger do these things get? You still moving? That's what I thought. Now we're talking shotgun, baby. I told you guys I wanted a shotgun. <laughs> Surprised our character can withstand the power of the shotgun with only one hand, but okay. Oh yeah, come at me now. I like me now. I like me now. Where are you going? What do you think this is, kid? All right, okay, I'm going to need bigger turns. I'm definitely going to be need bigger turns. Big step.
Let's try this. Whoa! Okay, that's maybe a little bit too much. Or maybe it's just enough. Oh, you guys are gonna get it now. Okay, yeah, the big step thing may be a little bit too weird. I can't do the big step. We need a small step. Let me see. Let's also try the other one while we're at it. Let's click. Okay. I get it. Okay, I don't like click. Click doesn't work for me. Smooth is going to be terrible. I know it. Ah, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> like, I'm serious. I know that for you guys, smooth looks really good on stream, but trust me when I tell you, if you're behind the helmet and you're using smooth, either you've got some fucking guts of steel or I don't know, but it's, it's not, not easy. So we're going to have to stick with small steps. Where are you going, little spiders? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I like this shotgun. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, you love it. That thing probably deals damage. I shouldn't be so close to them when they're about to pop. But yeah, we're shotgunning it from now on. We all need a shotgun to lean on. Yeah, this, uh, this does not seem like a good place. Can I actually go this way? Why am I? Forking paths. It's been pretty linear so far, so I'm surprised. Oh, snap. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. What the hell am I doing? Run for your life! Ouch, this red thing around my eyes seems like it'd be pretty bad. I can't see a damn thing. Can I have a flashlight? That's what I'm talking about. Like, unfortunately, I feel the ammo count on the shotgun feels very low, which is actually quite a few. There's like eight shots, seven shots in here. Grenade. Yeah, I know how to work launcher. grenades. The UEP tactical shotgun has an integrated grenade launcher. The high explosive grenades explode three seconds after being fired or instantly if they hit an enemy. The UEP tactical shotgun can hold a total of 10 grenades. 10? Now that's impressive. Oh, there's a big guy over there. Here, have one of these. Whoa, this thing fires long. Pretty boy.
still moving. He's got wings! Oh, shoot. I was out of ammo. Motherfucker has wings. You guys see that shit? 